Hello, my name Hello. is Jack Fernero. I'm the finance director of Visa Franchise and one of the founders of the firm. Today, I'd like to give a quick summary on our analysis of the Subway franchise investment opportunity. We've had many clients from around the world that, are, that have inquired about Subway and whether it's a good or bad franchise investment and something that'll qualify them for an E2 or L1 or EB5 investor visa. Our opinion uh, is quite definitively that it is a bad investment decision, a bad franchise to invest in in the US at this time. And there's a number of reasons for this. A brief summary is that Subway was founded in 1965 in Bridgeport, Connecticut by Fred DeLuca and Peter Buck. Uh, since then, Subway has become one of the largest franchises in the world uh, in terms of the number of units with over 44,000 units worldwide. Um, it's one of the most valuable privately held franchises in the world. So a lot of people, they see that it's everywhere, they're familiar with the brand, and they think it's something they want to invest in. But we found a number of issues after doing our research as we've had a number of clients ask about this opportunity. So here are the problems. One is that Subway had a very flawed uh, development program, is that they've opened up way too many units, they didn't have territory protection, so that's why you see sometimes where you have uh, one franchisee or one subway franchise uh, located on one corner and then down the block you have another subway franchise. And this is a big issue for, for franchisees because uh, what this leads to sales cannibalization where one store impacts negatively impacts the sales of another store. Um, and this decreases the sales for both stores. As an owner operator, uh, subways can require many hours uh, for the in individual. Um, we've read that a number of operators are working 50, 60, 70, 80 plus hours just to break even. So if, as an investor that's looking to do a franchise investment, uh, you don't want to do a, a franchise that's just buying a, yourself a job. You want to do something that you can scale, that you can eventually get to a level of sales where you can hire a manager and manage the manager and work way less hours and enjoy your free time doing other activities or enjoying it with your family. Another difficulty as a subway operating or subway franchisee is there's high employee turnover. Uh, like many food services businesses, uh, there's a lot of employee turnover. They work for a short amount of time and then they leave. And so as an owner and operator, you need to keep finding new people, constantly find new people train and train them. And one of the, the, big, the biggest issue for someone looking to do a subway franchise investment is if you're a foreign national looking to do an E2, L1, or EB5 investor visa, subway does not allow foreign nationals as franchisees in the US. The person needs to be a green card holder or be an American citizen, which means it's not even an option for someone looking to do uh, an investor visa like the E2, L1, or EB5. I hope you found this insightful. Again, my name is Jack Fendaro. I'm the finance director at Visa Franchise, and if you'd like to learn more, please visit our website at visafranchise.com. Thank you.